Hey, missed Wednesday's show? Here's the RE cap, presented by Honda. Listen, I'm an enormous Knicks fan. Yes. I'm also 43. I lived through that golden era. John Starks and Anthony Mason and Charles Barkley are overrated. I believe that Patrick Ewing is extremely underrated because I don't think people actually understand what he was surrounded by. He also so, played in a great era for centers with David Robinson and Akeem Olajuwon. He's Shaq. better than David Robinson. Like, he just is. He's better like, than David Robinson? 100%. Like, he was MVP of the league. I don't give a crap. The MVP of the league is not a variable that is super exciting to debate. You know this, you're too smart for that statement. Patrick Ewing clowned David Robinson one-on-one in their career. Like if you eye test their matchups, I'm telling you, he was a better player on eye test. He just was. If Patrick Ewing and the Knicks were in the West, they would have went to four damn NBA finals. So let's talk real talk, not bull 19. (laughs) (laughs) Like this is ludicrous, let's have real talk. Josh Jacobs, what does it mean for you and your dad that you're about to get drafted? It's huge. Represents a season of change, new beginnings. Just everything I've been through, uh, being in a single parent home, sleeping in hotels and motels and stuff like that. I mean, it's it definitely built it. Me, uh, the type of person I am today. Not only that, just not having a bed um, until I got to college. I mean, it, it's just a lot of things I always had to work for. Um, so that's where I get like the drive and everything from. Colin Hanks here uh, on The Rich Eisen Show. Many years ago, I was watching an NFL game with my father. Actually, no, it was a it was a, a college, college game because it was Charlie Weiss when he was uh, head coach <laughs> of right. uh, Charlie of Notre Dame. They had a shot of him, and my dad just said, "I wonder what kind of stepfather he would be like." And the game was born. So we basically look at head coaches, mm-hmm. and then we try and come up with like what is the phrase or like the go-to move of that stepfather. To their stepchild, To their stepchild. We figured we'd give you the photograph that was taken at the owner's meeting. There is no way I can talk about anything Mm -hmm. except Andy (laughs) Reid in that photograph. He is a black hole of attention. Front row in, in shorts, probably with ankle socks, Maybe, we hope. I don't know what that shirt is. Could be a Danish. Is it a Hawaiian pattern? It could be. I think it is. He looks like Wilford Brimley from Cocoon. (laughs) I think he's the kind of stepdad that would just say, hey, you gonna finish that? (laughs) You gonna finish that? For more Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Rich Eisen Show app.